Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Cotts, and I've got one of our fresh hysterectomy patients. Her name is Bobby, and she wanted to tell us a little bit about her experience. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, really good. Good. You were telling me earlier that you already felt kind of normal. Say what you said again about the discomfort. Um, I had absolutely no pain after my surgery. I was able to walk like normal. Um, I had a little bit of discomfort, you know, where the incisions were, but other than that, I had no pain at all. And how long ago was your surgery? One week. <laughs> um, and then did you try driving yet? No. Not yet? And that's okay. That's your choice. You are able to, though, from this point on, if you wanted to try. So tell me about the pain and stuff that you were having beforehand. Beforehand, I basically felt bloated. It was just tired. I had severe cramps after every period, um, pain in between. I had bleeding in between periods. It was just miserable. And poor Bobby, when we went in and saw her poor little pelvis, everything was stuck together. There was endometriosis. There was polyps. There was cysts everywhere. I am really, really glad that she's feeling better. So tell me about your process. You got to go home the same day, right? Yeah. About how long did you stay after your surgery? Um, maybe two or three hours. Did you feel like we prepared you enough to be able to go home? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Do you feel like, see, I'm always telling people that I think all the discussion we have in the office really helps people have, like, the right expectations. Do you feel like that's true? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think was most, not, I don't know if useful is the right word, but what was the most useful about the whole thing? Like, what was the most helpful? Um, probably the, the visits beforehand and talking with you. Good. You, you really eased my nervousness. Well, yeah, you know, it's funny. A lot of people are like, why do I got to come in face to face for a pre-op visit? But for me, you never know what you're going to think of after you leave. If you just come sign a piece of paper and then, all right, see you that day. I just, I feel like it's not enough. That's what I would want. That's why I do it. Any other comments for people wanting to get a hysterectomy? Um, don't be scared. Don't put it off. I promise you it's not as bad as what you're going to read on the internet. Do not Google it like I did. <laughs> And then how was the hospital? Because, you know, the hospital's had a tough rep for over the last um, 30 years or so. How was your experience? All the ladies I dealt with were great. They even sent me a card and told me to get well, and I appreciate all of it. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I'm always just trying to spread some good information so people can be less scared and easier to take care of themselves. Thank you, honey. Have a great day.